Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age. You can kind of see the path I took. We ended up, uh, well we ended the video here. I just rode down here and now we're here at the first watchtower site. There we go, that location has been marked. And now I believe we should probably take that. Again, the shards I'm not too concerned about with right now. You can grab that quest as well. Go back down, do that. And then do that. Farmland security. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, the wolves. Where are the wolves at? That's, that's something I do need to do as well. Um, trouble with wolves. Okay. And the Truffalo. So I guess after we complete the Watchtowers, then we'll go up here and deal with the wolves? Wait a minute. We're right here, might as well pick up the shard. I just don't like how I can't ping on the horse. I really don't like that. I want to be able to ping. All right, let's get this camp up. Hello, my friends. Still waiting to see a crafting site. So they have all these materials and all these schematics, but no crafting sites. I wonder if it's only back at Haven. Hmm. Anyway. Alright, so now we need to go back down there. We also need to do that, I suppose, since we're going to be in that direction, or that area. Also, we should probably do this quest that's here. Indrin! They're telling everyone to leave until the mages and Templars stop burning everything down. I saw the way the merchants were looking, though. If we just flee, they'll pick our houses clean. I'm taking our little project to the cave in the hills up north. You know the one. It'll be safe there until all this blows over. Hessel. Well, we'll see about that little project, Hessel. I'm coming for you. After I set up some watchtowers, though. You know, for a horse, I gotta say, seems like a pretty slow horse. Already turning into kind of like the Skyrim horses. You know, those horses that, well, I can't say no one wanted to use, because I don't know that for a fact, but that I never wanted to use. They're just more of a hassle than anything. Because you can't, I don't know, mark, can we mark locations from on top of this horse? Nope. You can't ping from on top of the horse, you can't mark the location from on top of the horse. Gotta do that whole flak thing, there you go. Hmm. Alright, broken bridge, and now we wanna go up and do that puzzle. How do we get there though? Oh. Excuse me, sir. Do you know the way to that puzzle up there? Let's go. Hey, sir. <laughs> yeah. I love that, that rush. Although I shouldn't not do that because I'm surrounded and that's not good. Shield wall does not work if they're behind you.
Very nice fight. Oh. So those guys are level 8, huh? Hmm. So there was a comment that pointed out that the difference between normal and hard seems more like normal is easy and hard is hard. I kind of agree. Increase ability damage. Making me wonder if we should put it back on hard, but god, hard is just so difficult. Or maybe it just depends on the enemy composition what is what makes it really hard. Oh, those terror demons. Okay, so accessories. I only have one ring with you, so I suppose we could use this for now. Probably would want to give this to a, like a two-hander person, but we don't have one. Oh, hello! Oh. Ha ha ha! Well, thanks, sir. You're too late to save your friends, there, smuggler man. Oh! So a couple of you. Shoot! They got Solus pretty well. <laughs> yes. Such a little shit. That killed you. Heck, this looks like a good location for a camp. It's already been set up and everything. Where was that? There's a bear over there. Must be up and around this way. How do you... No? Yeah, I don't think that's the way up. Okay. Must be further around. Now I'm getting sidetracked, but we're right here, so I want to grab that. Hafter's Woods, huh? There we go. This may be it. Don't worry about me, bear. I'm not here for you. Here's the path. There you are. Uh, is the bear st Okay, okay, fine. Fine, bear will fight. Oops. I dropped my shield. At the wrong time. I didn't want to kill you, Bear. You left me no choice. Mages and Templars fighting everywhere. Great job, Blondie. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Hmm. This looks like it's gonna be a person on a. I almost want to say like on a cross or something. Okay, so... Hmm... We'd have to... I think for this one we have to start and end on these arms, so... We'd want to... Hmm. Let's see, so go up there. 
Go down, da 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 Okay. Um, what's... Wait, what's that star? That's not part of the constellation. I guess you just ignore that? Oh, crap. No, oh, no! No, <laughs> I'm supposed to go up the... Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, a person hanging on a cross, or a dragon. Yeah, I guess crosses are only a thing in this game. With the... Anyway. Draconis, called High Dragon in common parlance. The constellation Draconis is always depicted by a dragon in flight. Recently, it has come into question whether this was the case in the ancient Imperium. Most of inter-dragon imagery was reserved for the old gods, so why would they dictate? Uh, dedicate, sorry, a constellation to dragons in general when specific dragons were held in such reverence. The speculation is fueled by older drawings showing Draconis as more serpentine in appearance, perhaps depicting a sea creature or an unknown eighth old god that was stricken from his historical records. Hmm. Okay. That way. <sighs> Just look at this. Look at that! You could probably go there. Definitely got a Skyrim feeling here. Just compare this Dragon Age 2, it's just it's insane. Okay. So now we have one more watchtower, so we might as well just fast travel here. And then head north. If we can. Did I head to the wrong one? Can we even get down there from here? I want to say yes through here. Yeah, looks like a little animal path or something. Back at the cross road? Oh, oh, okay. All right, and then the going down the other way would get us into that burning village. Yeah, there's the crossroads right there. Yeah, wow, okay. And so then going, yeah, going down this path. Huh. Well, it looks like we still have a fight here. Right, I still need to take out the rebel camp, don't I? The mages. That's right. Let's do that as well. Gosh, I've been just kind of pulled every which direction that I totally forgot we saw to do that. These damn ice runes. At least my bull rush can get through them, though. It's a cool move. All right, let's let's do this. Uh, wrong screen. Tactics for Cassandra. Um, behavior. Sorry. Defend. Let's go follow. And sure, we'll keep it on Varric's target. 
Because she seems to be very passive now, which was okay because she would hang back. But we only needed that on hard. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm still holding down shift because I've been playing the multiplayer so much, and shift allows you to run. Which I think is so odd that you can't run in the single player, but you can in the multiplayer. Alright, so the watchtower should go right up here. Then we'll continue fighting those. The wizards. Complete the watchtowers and the farms operation at the war table. Oh, so now it's going to be a thing that we have to send people out and build. Okay, that's cool. I make quite an entrance, don't I? Yep. Yep, I just said that. Alright, we must get further into this forest and take out those wizards. Is that what, just iron? Ah, I can't ignore it. I did see campfires in this cave over here. Let's investigate. Okay. Stronghold of the Apostate Mages. Are you tired of letting the witless fools bind you with their fear? Come to the Witchwood. Follow the signs. We will be free to work our craft. Free to become the new gods we have always known we truly are. Stronghold of the Apostate Mages off Route 76. Okay. That's how I read that. It's like a commercial. Give it a... Never mind. So this is... That's Lyrium, right? Right? I think so. So we gotta find that apostate's camp. And then this area will be free. I should have done this before even going to the farm, but it totally slipped my mind. Whoa. We also have a couple landmarks, I guess. I wasn't looking at my mini map. Again, feel free to pause if you wish to read this. Is this a shard? No. And we have a fader if I suppose we can handle. This place is creepy. Whoa. Whoa, whoa! Oh boy! Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's let's take this fight outside, shall we? So let's head back there. Cassandra, let's take him outside. Like, oh god. All right. That's what I meant by heading outside. Well, okay, this is fine. At least the ranged units can still hit him. Uh oh. Alright. 
That wasn't too bad. We got a little wounded, but it's okay. Enchanted amulet of magic. Plus five magic. Okay. Solus, my friend. I think this is for you. So that was it. Ah, here we go. An adventurer's hat. A common hat. Restriction elf dwarf for human. 18 maximum health. Really? Alright. Let's check this out. Yep, better than the Templar helmet. <laughs> Looks cool too, I suppose. Let's go to Cassandra. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I suppose I could give you that. What are you wearing? Right. Why not? I'm sure you'd love to be in a Templar's helmet. <laughs> that does look a little weird. Ah, oh well, whatever. Armor is important, Varric. Armor is important. Rogue only, human trained only. Ah, yes. Okay. Guess you can't wear that. Well, we're so close to this fade roof, we might as well close it. And taunt, though I think they'll still do the little burrow thing and... Gotcha! Come, demons! Oh! Eric! You can't die, you just got your fancy new helmet! Oh! There you go. Goodbye, Fade Rift. You're fine. Is that a shard? Ah, oh, it's right there. Okay. Now let's just go over here and grab it. I cannot believe how completely opposite this game is compared to Truck in Age 2. There's just. I'm only in the hinterlands. There's still so much of this game to explore, and I think I've been in here for almost seven hours. I mean, it's great. I'm not complaining. Trust me, I am not complaining. Lunge and slash. What, what's our goal here? Shield bash is cool. Turn the blade. Any blade you can see, you can turn aside. All damage coming from the front is reduced automatically. The lunge would be pretty cool. Constitution plus three. You can't be flanked by enemies, and you're less likely to be staggered when hit from the front. That's also pretty good for us. That's what Cassandra has. And he had to turn the bolt. But we'll go down this route with you. Although, the lunge and slash, you already have the this ability, the charging bull, which kind of does the same thing, right? You lunge forward, then spin with a slashing strike, and your first blow connects. You can use this attack to close with opponents. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd just rather have this, because it also gives us the guard. After you finish your charge, your next ability costs no stamina. So we could charge in and do taunt? Which would be good. They can't kill what they can't hit. You get a bonus to your maximum guard, which would also be pretty good. Hmm. Alright. Oh. Really? Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, right. I clicked. I forgot. It keeps track of the things you just click in, so we have to unclick that. Yeah, alright. There we go. 
Sure. Because then we can charge in, we taunt, and then we can also do the payback strike. Eh, that's not a great combo. Payback strike doesn't do too much. You have to get hit first. Hmm. Armor bonus. No, nah, that's fine, because then we can just use charging bull again, too. Alright. We'll do it. I don't think anyone else leveled up, did they? No. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. I'll see you next time when we try to, once again, locate the mage's uh, camp. Thanks for watching. Take care.